Hi friends, welcome to Inspire from Universe. Hinduism is a high-tech combo of science, math, and spirituality. When we explore this in detail, it's truly interesting and inspiring. So during each festival time, let's learn one by one. Do you get irritated when elders in your family insist in visiting temples during festivals, functions, exams, interviews, etc? Your opinion will definitely change after watching this video. Yes, in this video we will be knowing the scientific reasons behind visiting temples. We have seen interesting facts about our Earth's magnetosphere in our Nature's Magic Show video. If you miss watching it, please click the link below to watch it. It's highly informative and you can understand this video better after you watch that. We have seen in our Nature's Magic Show how our magnetosphere protects our Earth as a shield from the sun, right? Temples in our country are deliberately found at a place where the positive energy is available abundantly from the magnetic and electric wave conveyances. Especially the core center of the temple, where the main god statue is placed, called Garbhagraha or Mulastanam, is located in a highly positive wave-centric place. In many temples, they used to keep copper plates beneath the main idol. This is mainly to absorb the magnetic waves and spread it to the environment. Also, you can notice in temples that the main god idol is sometimes made of a combination of metals and the god is decorated with ornaments like gold, silver, etc. All these metals help in absorbing the magnetic waves and hence people feel the positive vibe when visiting the temple. The main god idol is always cleaned with milk, tulsi, etc. in the name of Abhishekam so that the place is cleansed with medicinal products and in turn enhances the absorption and spread of positive vibrations. Do you know why do we enter barefoot in temples? Our feet can absorb the positive vibrations that are available in the temple and can transmit to our entire body. All the rituals performed in the temples are mainly to activate our sense organs. First, let us know how does it activate our hearing sense. The temple bells are made on a specific composition of metals like cadmium, lead, copper, zinc, nickel, chromium, and manganese. So when you enter the temple and ring the bell, the sound lasts for 7 seconds in echo mode. This creates a unity in the left and right parts of our brain. This also helps us in focusing on our prayers by increasing the concentration. Let us look on how our sight is activated. In general, Garbha Graha is kept dark. So when the priests do Arati, the light from so many lamps activate our sight. The products used for Arati like oil, ghee, camphor have high medicinal benefits. Another added advantage is this arati warms the metals in the mulastanam, which in turn can absorb the magnetic fields to its maximum and can radiate it to the environment. It is a common ritual after seeing arati in Garbhagraha, you do either Anga Productionum or Adi Productionum or at least walking a minimum one round around Garbhagraha. This helps us to listen to bell sounds, inhale the smell of oil or camphor, and to absorb the positive vibration prevailing there. And when you think about your needs while arati and walking around the mulastanam, you feel highly positive. It's for the same reason that you are asked to sit and spend some time in the temple after your prayers. When you sit there and eat the delicious prasad, you feel highly content and energetic. Next is the activation of the sense of touch. When the priest finishes showing the arati to God, he brings it outside and shows to the devotees. 
and when you show your hands above the arati your hands are warm and when you touch your eyes or head your sense of touch is activated only flowers that are fragrant like jasmine rose chrysanthemum and even tulsi leaves are mainly used in temples these flowers not only activate our sense of smell but also inhaling the fragrance has medicinal benefits too. Do you know why tear thumb or the holy water is given in temples? In general, tear thumb is kept in a copper or silver vessel. Tulsi leaves are added and the water is kept in the container for a minimum period of 8 hours before distributing to the devotees. This holy water not only activates your sense of taste, but also has been proven to have medicinal benefits. Priest also offers kumkum to everyone. Do you know why we keep the kumkum on our forehead between the two eyebrows? That spot is considered as a major nerve point in our human body since ancient times. It is believed that the red kumkum helps in retaining the energy gained and also enhances our concentration. It is also believed by pressing the nerve point while placing the kumkum facilitates the blood supply to our face muscles. There is an extremely intelligent reason for storing the grains in our temple kalasam. Due to any natural calamities like flood, earthquake, if people lost everything including the seeds, then the grains stored in the kalasam can be used for agriculture. Hence, once every 12 years, Gumba Bishigam happens in a temple when the kalasams are cleaned with holy water and replaced with new grains. These are the generic reasons for visiting a temple. Each ancient temple has a unique speciality too, pertaining to science, architecture, math, and language. We shall try to explore one by one along with knowing our world. So next time when you visit a temple, feel the importance of each ritual, follow them while performing. You will feel highly positive. Knowing the reasons behind this is not intelligence, friends. When our ancients were genius to know and implement these facts, being born in a powerful race like this, it's not a choice to be useful to you, your family, and to your society, but it's your duty to add value to our rich culture. Subscribe, share, like, and comment Inspire From Universe. Until we meet again, take care and bye friends!